the value of, we have 3, 5 minus 1 over 3, and then that 5 minus 1 is 4, and the 3 is cancel, and all you're left with is 4. So the answer is D. If x is 2, the value of 4x squared minus 3x squared. Well, that is just x squared. If x is 2, plug it in, so that would be 2 squared, and 2 squared is 4. So the answer here is C. How many 1x1x1 one by one by one cubes are required to make a solid 2x2x2 two by two by two cube? A 2x2x2 two by two by two cube has a volume of 8. Now 1x1x1 one by one by one has a volume of 1. So how many 1s can we put into 8? Well, obviously, the answer is 8. So number 3, the answer is E. Shu Xin begins with 10 red, ye 7 yellow, and 3 blue candies. After eating some of the candies, there are equal number of red, yellow, and blue remaining. What is the smallest possible number of candies that Shu Xin ate? So 10 are 7 yellow and 3 blue. So we have to eventually get to the same number. So that same number is most likely 3 because you can't go lower than 3. Well, you could go lower than 3, but then you would no longer uh, satisfy that criteria because we want the smallest. Okay, so then 3 yellow and 3 red. So how do we go from 10R to 3R? We had to eat 7R. And then to go from 7Y to 3Y, we had to eat 4. So 7 and 4 is how much she ate, and that is 11. So four, number 4, the answer is 8. Square PQRS is divided into 16 smaller congruent squares as shown what fraction of PQRS is shaded. Okay, so if you have a square like that, let's cut every square in half like by making a diagonal. So if you count all the squares, it's uh, 4 times 4, 16 squares. But if you count all the halves, it's 32 of them. Th 32, let's just say 32 triangles because they are triangles. And now let's count the total number of triangles. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 5 and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 of the 32 triangles is the fraction that is shaded. And in lowest terms, 6 over 16, 3 over 8. And 3 over 8 would be E. How many integers are greater than root 5? 15 and less than root 50. So let's say an integer is n, it's greater than root 15 and less than root 50. So root 15, it, it's best to convert it to decimals, it's about 3.8. And root 50 is just over 7, right? So 7.1, let's say. So how many numbers that are integers are between 3.8 and 7.1? Well, I think that's 4, 5, 6, and 7. So there's four of them. And therefore, number 6. The answer is B. The line with equation 3x plus 6 is reflected in the y-axis. What is the x-intercept of the new line? Let's draw a graph. And let's see what happens. So here we have x and we have y. So y is equal to 3x plus 6. So let's draw that. When x is 0, y would be 6. So let's say right there. And when x is minus 2, Yeah, y would be 0. Okay, so that means this is sort of the, the line right here. And then we are reflecting it in the y-axis, so therefore the line, the reflection line would be like that, uh, approximately like this. Okay, so what are they saying? What is the x-intercept? So what is this point? Well, it would be exactly equidistant from that point. So if that's minus 2, this would be plus 2. And that's all there is to that. So number 7, the answer is 8. If 10 to the power of n is 1,000 to the power of 20, what is the n? So 10 to the power of n, 1,000 to the power of 20. 1,000 is 10 to the power of 3, all to the 20. And therefore, that's 10 to the power of 60, and therefore n is 60. So Number 8, the answer is b. In the diagram, a semicircle has center O, and a diameter AC also. B is a point on the circ 
circumference such that BAC is 25, the measure of BOC. So let's see here. BAC, so this is 25, right? Okay. And these are radii, OB and OC. And because AC is the diameter, by definition, that is going to be a right angle. So therefore, that angle would be 180 minus 90 minus 25, which is 65, correct? Okay, that angle is 65. And therefore, that angle will also be 65 because that's an isosceles triangle. So therefore, finally, BOC, that, that I just labeled theta, would be, well, BOC plus 65 plus 65 would be 180, some of the angles of BOC triangle. And then when you solve for this, you get BOC. Well, I keep putting theta. Let me just put BOC. BOC would be 50 degrees. So number nine, the answer is D. In a photograph, Aristotle, David, Flora, Munira, and Pe Pedro are seated in a random order in a row of five chairs. If David is seated in the middle row, what is the probability that Pedro is seated beside him? So we have five seats and they've uh, told you that uh, David is in the middle for sure so he's fixed there and they're saying we want Pedro to be either here or here okay now in any probability question it's usually a fraction we have the n top and the bottom the bottom is the total number of choices our total number of choices are one two three four and then the top number is our specific condition that we are trying to achieve and what we're trying to achieve is we want to put Pedro either here or here. So there's two possible uh, choices for him, and that's the probability. And of course, in lowest terms, that would be one half. So number 10, the answer is C.